as perfect as it can be. The goal is to make it, you know, just like a stock car. Alright, so now we're just gonna we're gonna test it to make sure that we're not getting any misfiring or anything. Hold on, you ready? Alright, here we go. It's hard to get some power, no? It's hard to get the power to the ground, no? Yeah, it is hard to get some grip. <laughs> get some grip. That shit's crazy, right? Sure is. <laughs> There's not many cars that will do that. You know, from a roll. Just when the tires start to get a little warm, then it starts to hook up and it starts to take off. Gotcha. That's good. <laughs> I want this power. This is the power. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, right? <laughs> this is the power. Yeah, and I think we have it down perfected now so the car can sustain like being driven daily like that and, 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 and it will hold together and no problems and um, this is an ICS motor we actually built it right here we're gonna build one for you right we'll see how it works we'll see how it works right, I'm sitting here in the uh, Evo of Sumans I'm here with my man and his boy from the Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx. Yep. Um, uh, we got into this car stone cold and we just started to fuck her up, just like a stock car, right? Yep. With the AEM. Um, we came by to just look at that car, man. I, I'm gonna put up a video of this guy. Oh shit, you know what I did? I think I deleted his fucking video, man. Uh, anyway, we're gonna put up a video of this guy with his car. Happy 2009. Here I am, starting off the new year, working on my whip, getting it ready. The last time this car made it down the track was at the uh, Raceway Park Fall Nationals back in uh, October, where the rear differential exploded right at the line. The car didn't move an inch. Um, big thanks to Busher Racing for all your support and help throughout the years. We're gonna get this badass motherfucker ready. I wanted to say something about tuning and about why it is that uh, here it is Sunday night at 11.30 p.m. I'm here by myself, a one-man team, getting ready to take this car out and break some records this year, personal records, uh, on the dyno and at the track. And I wanna say something about why I do this because if you're going to go to a doctor, you want to go to a doctor that knows how to do surgery or work on your particular problem. If you're going to go to a tuner, you want to have a tuner who leads by example, not with a big mouth. I got a big mouth, but when it comes to going down the track, tuning my car, running my car, I lead by example. Here's my own Evo, and there's my Subaru right there, resting. Uh, we're getting a Subaru ready, but when it comes to Evos and Subarus, I run them, I tune them, I drive them. This car has been nine seconds for the last, uh, let's see, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, and now it'll be 2009. This was the first Evo to go 11 seconds in the United States. The first Evo to go nines without nitrous. By the way, just to let you guys know, we're working on some good things for 2009. Here's a very special project that we're working on that's just about ready for completion. Um, we'll be talking about this car more later this week. Um, this was crafted by our Ferrari master technician, George, and is just about ready to go. Some details, it has the Force Performance HTA 88. It's got the P&L fuel injector kit. It's got a full Cosworth motor. Hydra 2.6. It's got the uh, Stealth APS front mount intercore. It's a nice looking car. It's pretty funny because this car was the same 07 STI that George Cacolectris, the owner of ICS, once had. Uh, he traded it into the dealer and this guy brought it and brought it down and said, you know what, I want to make this a fast car. This is coming up. We got some other nice cars here today. This is a nice looking M3, man. Nice looking seats. Roll cage, makes 500 horsepower and pump gas, runs reliably, nice wheels. Anyway, 
In 2009, we're going to lead by example. We're going to set the mark by what we do, not by what we say. And we're going to continue to be at the forefront of the tuning business. Unlike some of our competitors who like to talk a lot of shit, who have never been to the track, don't even know what a track looks like, and don't know how to make more than 400 horsepower. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best for 2009. And a shout out to John Travolta, whose uh, son unfortunately passed away recently. And uh, he's always entertained me. I like Pulp Fiction, one of my best movies I really enjoyed. And I know he's going through a lot of pain losing a child. Um, my heart goes out to him. And I hope he can find a way to get through this troubling time. We'll see you at the track.